Hey guys, it's me again, the Mesozoic Maniac, back again with another video. Today we are going to look at the perforated lizard, Taurosaurus. <laughs> Taurosaurus is a ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Matriscan stage of the late Cretaceous between 68 to 66 million years ago. Its name means perforated lizard. It is referring to the large opening in its frill. It had a height of 7 feet 2 meters tall at the hips. Its length is 21 to 25 feet long and weighs over 4 or 6 tons. In 1891, just two years after the naming of Triceratops, two unidentified ceratopsian skulls with elongated frills bearing holes were found in southwestern Wyoming in Neobrara County by John Bell Hatcher. Othniel Charles Marsh, who was John's employer, coined the genus Taurosaurus for them. Its name is perforated lizard, which means to pierce, perforate, to its window-like holes. There are two species of Taurosaurus, T. latus and T. utahensis, and another one from Marsh naming it T. gladius or gladius, which is a reference to its elongated squamoso, like a sword. There is also some heated debate on how Triceratops is a Taurosaurus but a subadult, mixing it with another Ceratopsian as a younger version, Nidoceratops. However, new scientific evidence has proven that these guys are not the same species. Taurosaurus lived around the Matriscan stage of the Cretaceous. Alongside others of the last non-avian dinosaurs, it has one of the largest skulls of any land animal. The frilled skull reaching 2.7 meters and 9 feet in length, its horns like triceratops would defend itself from carnivores. Finally, its taxonomy. It is a chasmosaurian descended from Anchiceratops and Arhinoceratops, and also connects to its cousin Triceratops. Alright guys, that's it for Taurosaurus. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay primal.